The case of a man killed while jogging in South Georgia is making national headlines. An outside district attorney was appointed to the case last month and today determined it should go to a grand jury in Glenn County. And now the GBI is involved. 11 Alive's Chinu Her has a story. Georgia prosecutors vowed this case will go to a grand jury. This announcement came after cell phone video was released purportedly showing Ahmad Arbery tussling with the man accused of killing him. Months later, Wanda Cooper is still waiting for answers. I just think about how they could allow these two men to, to actually kill my son and, and not be arrested. It's been since February when her son Ahmad Arbery was shot and killed in Brunswick, Georgia, while jogging through a neighborhood. According to a police report, Gregory McMichael saw Arbery running and thought he was burglarizing a home. He said someone's breaking into it right now. No, it's, it's all open. It's under construction. And he's running right now. There he goes right now. Okay, what is he doing? He's running down the street. McMichael, who worked for the Brunswick Police Department before working as an investigator in the Brunswick District Attorney's Office, says he and his son Travis McMichael grabbed guns and drove after Arbery. When they caught up with him, Travis got out of the car and got into an altercation with Arbery, shot the gun twice, and police found Arbery dead. As a mother, I never, um, I never worried about him jogging, or just running, because as long as he stayed within the streets, I mean, no one should bother him. The investigation prompting an outcry by the local NAACP and other groups. Arbery was black, and the men who pursued him are white. Lee Merritt, Wanda Cooper's attorney, says McMichael and his son are using a citizen's arrest statute to justify the shooting. We have no reason to believe that, that there's uh, that either actor here, uh, Travis or Gregory, observed a crime. The Glynn County Police Department has called in the GBI to investigate the video released by Merritt, appearing to show Arbery's death. Gregory and Travis McMichael's attorney tells our sister station in Jacksonville they are not commenting at this time. And news tonight, Governor Kemp tweeted GBI Director Reynolds has offered resources and manpower to District Attorney Durden to ensure a thorough, independent investigation into the death of Ahmaud Albury. Georgians deserve answers. State law enforcement stands ready to ensure justice is served.